Hello, I am here with my friend Carrie Sanker and we are talking about mortgages today. So Carrie, what is the first thing that buyers should do in this environment? I think the first thing a buyer should do is obviously before they get in a car with a realtor, even before they start driving around and looking at houses, they need to get pre-approved for a mortgage more than ever. When you know that, you know exactly what your budget is so that you're not spending your time out there looking at homes that you just can't qualify for. People usually see something they get excited about and then they get disappointed that that's not within their budget, right? Right, right. You know, and they... Um, and it really puts everyone in an awkward position because you're just trying to rush around and maybe fit into something that's a little outside your range. So it's, it's just better all around before you do anything to get pre-approved. So what if somebody has already been approved, but it's been a, a few months? Yeah, so mortgage interest rates have made crazy changes. I, I've never seen them change uh, so much in such a short period of time. So. If you were pre-approved for a mortgage back in the fall or early of this year, um, those interest rates are probably 1% to 2% higher. And the interest rate influences the amount of mortgage that you qualify for. So it's really important that if you were pre-approved, that you go back to your lender and have that pre-approval refreshed so that you know exactly, like, did it influence how much home you could qualify for, for sure. It might change the, my budget, correct? It might change your budget, yep. And, and they are expecting that interest rates will continue to rise this year and why that's, that's a whole other conversation for another life. So should buyers feel disappointed or should they continue looking for a house and go ahead with this process? You know, I've been doing, uh, I've been in the mortgage business since 1993. I have seen interest rates much, 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 much higher than where they are right now. So if interest rates are around 5 or 6% when you eventually buy a house this year, honestly, that's so much better than they have been over the last 30 years. So um, you can still find a home, and it's very competitive right now. We are in something called a seller's market, and, and Rich as a realtor can tell you what that means. Um, but we are seeing 75% of all homes that closed last month had a mortgage on them. So it's not impossible to get a mortgage. Uh, and one of the suggestions that I have uh, is that maybe you consider new construction because you're not necessarily competing with all these other offers um, for a house. So that could be a, a better alternative than buying an existing home. That's a great idea. So we got used to hearing 2%, 3%, and that's why we think 5% now it's crazy. But if you think about it, it's really not. No, I think I paid great. 7% on my mortgage and I thought it was a great rate. Yeah, I've had an eight and a nine myself, so. <laughs> okay, thank good. you so it's much, Gary. I appreciate you. And if you do have any more questions, feel free to reach out. Where can people contact you? Sure, um, you can call me and I'm going to give you my phone number. So it's 713-515-4988. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to spell my name. It's too hard. But 713-515-4988. Or just contact Maritza and she'll put you in contact with me. Thank you so much and thank, thank you so you. much for watching.